Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at the full customization guide of the Karen Sultan and the Banshee. Now, both of these vehicles were just added in in another variation in a secret update DLC, which was randomly dropped today. Unfortunately, I have no idea why Rockstar Games added in this DLC. I have no idea why Rockstar Games added in these new vehicles, but we have them and they're awesome, they're kick-ass, and I absolutely love them. Now, apart from the price tag, these vehicles are insane. The amount of customizations you can add onto them is just crazy. They've also got a whole new array of steering wheels and interiors. You can get yourself new seats, new chairs, uh, new ornaments inside. You can also get yourself loads of new customization options, which you couldn't originally get on other cars, which is great. Now, if you guys are wondering about the price tag for this vehicle, I'm sure the majority of you are questioning, but not how much money does this cost? Well, it costs $12,000 to purchase the Karen Sultan RS, which is quite a nice price. It seems like a cheap car at the start, but the moment you bring this into Benny's original motorworks, you have to pay almost $800,000 just to upgrade this, and then you have to pay another further $600 or so thousand dollars to get the best customization options on this vehicle. Overall, you're going to be paying at least $1.4 million on this vehicle. I would set that as your budget, uh, but once again, it's a great vehicle. The customizations on it are insane. Is it worth $1.4 million? No, I don't think it is. To be honest, looking at the car, yes, it is great. I love it. It's awesome. The liveries on it are insane. As you can see, the livery I gave it myself, the traction, the acceleration, the speed, everything about this is crazy. But in my opinion, it is not worth the $1.4 million you are going to invest into this vehicle. Does it mean you shouldn't buy it? Well, honestly, I think you should. If you have the money, definitely get this car. There's going to be mixed opinions about this. Of course, if you have the money, this car is going to be a no-brainer. You're going to get it. If you don't have the money, then I don't think you should waste your money on it, unless you really want a car like it. Taking a look into the next vehicle, we're going to take a look at the Bravado Banshee, the second variation of this vehicle which was added in today. The upgrade price is around $600,000 which is quite a lot of money and if you want to spend all of your money on it I recommend having a budget of around 1.5 million dollars both cars are pretty similar in the price range of how much you'll spend on it but the Bravado Banshee would just beat the Karen Sultan RS by a margin of around 100 to 200 thousand dollars does this mean you shouldn't get it well personally I absolutely love the Bravado Banshee it is my most favorite vehicle so far this variation of it is insane the paint jobs, deliveries, everything you can have about this car is just beautiful. And even in the live stream I did earlier, there was quite a big debate on which livery we get. If you're thinking about getting one vehicle and you can only get one vehicle, maybe you can only afford it, maybe you only just want to get one of these cars, the Bravado Banshee has to be, in my opinion, a no-brainer if you want to get yourself a vehicle from this latest update. I would recommend getting this one over the Sultan RS just because of the style it has Personally, it just looks a lot better. It looks cleaner. Everything fits together, unlike the Sultan RS, where, in my opinion, the liveries don't really suit it too much. But that could just be my opinion. Of course, you guys will be mixed as well. But there's so many things you can do with this Banshee. I love the liveries, and I love so much about this vehicle. Once again, I'm going to have to ask the question, is it really worth the $1.5 million you're going to invest into it? And no, it really isn't. In my opinion, it is just not worth the money. I don't even know what Rockstar Games are playing at right now. They have overpriced both of these vehicles. And what annoys me so much is that if you want to sell these vehicles, you'll only get around 40% of your money back, which is crazy. It is crazy low. It's a very expensive vehicle. If you have the money, get it. If you don't, I wouldn't sweat over it because, like I said, it's a ripoff. It's an expensive vehicle. It is crazy amounts of money. Uh, but if you have the money, definitely get it. I recommend this vehicle to everyone. But once again, it's just the price. The price is in the way of these things. It's such an awesome vehicle. Both of these vehicles are insane. But the budget you must have to fully customize both of them and get them is like $3 million, which is just crazy, crazy amounts of money. So I don't know why Rockstar Games priced these so high. Uh, but I would love to know your thoughts about this down in the comments section below. Do you think the price is fair? Do you think it's not fair? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't leave without clicking that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here, as you'll never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. Anyway, guys, my name is Nort. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time.